What's going on everybody, the Coburn Riggins here with Notice Studios, and I know what you're thinking. Where can I get one of those Fly Notice Studios t-shirts I see you guys wearing in all your videos? Well, you're in luck. If you go over to www.noticestudios.com, click on merch, and you can pick up one of these t-shirts, long sleeve, short sleeve, or even a hoodie. Whatever fancies you, go pick one up. That helps us continue to create more and more content like the YouTube videos that we put out, our short films, and even our feature films. Go over and support us, and welcome to the Notice Studios family. What's going on everybody? DeCoven Riggins here with Notice Studios, and we are back inside of Sound Design Central. Today, we're gonna take a look at five shortcuts that help you edit faster in Fairlight in DaVinci Resolve 17. Let's jump in. So here we are in the Fairlight tab. I'm gonna give you five easy ways to, to move around, to use shortcuts to get uh, faster results and to get to some things that you may not have known that you how you could get to it inside the Fairlight tab. I know it was a, a challenge for me until I learned these things. Uh, but now that I learned them, it helps me edit so much faster. So let's just take a look at these first five tips to make editing easier for you in Fairlight. So here we are on the Fairlight page. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you, very simple trick on how to view your entire timeline all at one time. Now you can't view all of your tracks from top to bottom, but you can view the entire length of your timeline by simply hitting Shift Z and it shows your entire timeline. Now if you wanna go right back to that point, you hit Shift Z again and it'll take you back to where you were before. But if you ever need to get quickly to your entire timeline just to see where you are and what's going on, you hit Shift Z and you can see the entire timeline. So number two, how to scroll up and down your timeline if you're using the type of mouse that I'm using. Now I'm using a Logi M570. As you can see on the screen. And it was always a challenge trying to scroll using this mouse. So I tried, you know, using just the scroll wheel, which only allows me to scroll up and down, which is great. And then I try using the thumb ball. It only allows me to control the cursor. So the way that you can scroll up and down your timeline is by holding down command and then using your scroll wheel. Uh, you scroll right up and down. Very simple, very easy. Now number three kind of goes with number one, but instead of just viewing your entire timeline, you can scroll, you can zoom in and out as much as you want or, you know, out as far as you can go, which is back to uh, the entire timeline. But not only can you go in and out, you can adjust the height up and down as well. So this is number three. If you hold option and you scroll up, you can shrink your timeline back down to, again, as far down as you need to, as far down as your timeline goes. Or, which going out by scrolling down, wherever your cursor is, that's where it's going to scroll out at. So let me put my cursor over here. And then when I begin to scroll out, it opens all the way up. And if I want to get to a specific point, I can get right here and I can scroll, 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 scroll. Now let's say I want to look at this piece a little wider. Then I just shift from option to actually shift. And if I scroll down, I can open it up. Now what just happened here is because I am on track number four, it automatically jumps to the track that you are on. So if I deselect all the tracks, 
it'll go, it'll just open right in the middle of the screen. And as you can see, by scrolling up, I closed it down as much as it allowed me to go. But let me select track one. And then if I begin to scroll, it's going to take track one to the middle and I can go as high as it allows me to go. So again, number three, zooming in and out, very simple. Option in is up and out is down. And wherever your cursor is, that's where it's going to scroll in and out from. Up and down, switch over to shift. Up, shrinks, down, heightens. All right, let's go to number four. So remember, I showed you how to reset the timeline when you can view your entire timeline. Now I'm going to show you if you were playing and you want to start your time, if you want to go put your play hit right back at the beginning. All you got to do is hit the home button. The home button will take you all the way to the beginning of your timeline. But if you want to go to the end of the timeline, you just hit the end button. So home gets you all the way back home. In takes you to the end of your timeline. And number five, last but not least, and I'm gonna do a lot more of these because there's a lot more shortcuts that we can do. Um, some more advanced shortcuts and things like that. But this is another pretty simple one. So let me open up my timeline. And so let's say I wanted to make an edit right here on track number three. But I really need to see what is on track number three. But the volume might be so low that I can't see it. So I open it up and I see a little something here. But let's say I really wanna see it. So what I do is I zoom into all of the waveforms. And the way I do that so I go Option Command, and then I just scroll down. And it allows me to zoom into the waveform as much as I want. And then of course if I scroll down, then I can go down as much as I want. So if I have something that's really big like this, and I can't see what's going on, and I wanna see what's going on more, then I just can zoom it down. Now let's say you wanna get back to where the normal level is. All you do is right click on a track. Then you go down here to track waveform zoom. Reset zoom all tracks. Click it and it'll take you right back. So those are your five tips. How to zoom in to view your entire timeline. how to reset to the beginning and the end, how to scroll your timeline using a ball mouse, how to zoom up and down, and how to zoom in and out on your timeline, and then how to zoom in to your waveform, zoom in and out, and how to reset the waveform. Again, I hope these are helpful. These have been really helpful tips to me to help me begin to edit a lot faster inside of the Fairlight page. Uh, if you got any questions or any other tips and tricks for other people, uh, go ahead and link up in the comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what other questions you might have about uh, how to do certain things. I will be sure to answer your questions. If I know them, if I don't, I'll research it for you and find you the answer. But until next time, again, this is Dakota and Riggins, and I'll see y'all later.